Facebook is upgrading to allow you schedule a live broadcast. Kenyan startup wins 1 million US dollars for offline bus application. 16 African startups make it to Lyon, France for the Big Booster program. And the halt price is taking applications for October 2016. I'm Belarza Koji with your Tech City update, and I'll be back with details. Facebook is upgrading to allow you schedule a live broadcast up to a week in advance and when the time arrives, your audience will be put in a waiting room for three minutes before your video goes live. It is also possible for you to copy the link of your broadcast or embed the link to your broadcast onto a website when you schedule a video. But first, you would have to go to your page, select publishing tools, copy your stream details, create posts and then finalize it by adding the scheduled start time or a custom thumbnail. But for now, it is only available to verified profiles on Facebook. Kenyan startup Magic Bus Ticketing, an orphan application that allows urban commuters check bus schedules and book tickets has been named the September 2016 winner of the Halt Prize, taking home 1 million US dollars in seed capital. The Halt Prize is a partnership between the Halt International Business School and the Clinton Global Initiative. The application allows commuters to check in real time the location and the cost of their bus trips, as well as book and pay for a seat. They describe themselves as Uber for buses, but offline. It is a USSD application that can be accessed on a basic or feature phone. Hey, and what do you know? The Halt Prize is now taking applications for its October 2016 prize. All you need to do is have a solution in social issues surrounding energy, water access, education, and food security. To apply, click the link in the description box below. And all the best. 16 African startups have made it to France for the international non-profit Big Booster program, which is very interested in startups in bio and health, informative tech, and global impact with the aim of empowering these businesses to cross borders and go global. Seven of these startups hail from Morocco, four from Tunisia, two from South Africa, and one each from Niger, Senegal, and Kenya. At the end of the three working days in Lyon, France, 92 of the total number of entrepreneurs will go head to head in a pitching competition where only 20 startups will be chosen to continue to the big booster camp in Boston. Wishing all these guys all the best, all right? And bring back home the prize. Even if you're not Nigerian, you're African anyway, and we share uh, the entire prize. <laughs> all the best. Let me know what your thoughts are with regards to our news today. And if there's anything you'd like for us to report, please leave it in the comment box and would love, love, love to look into that. Please comment on this video, share, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel. I'm Belarza Koji, and I'll see you next time on your Tech City Updates.